Hi, this is Keeley, and today we're going to talk about the ray tracing for a concave lens. Now, a concave lens is thicker on the edges and thinner in the middle. And one thing that we need to do to prep this is we need to draw a line through the center of our lens from top to bottom. For a thin lens, this is going to be the point that we change the direction of the beam of light. So I'm going to put one all the way from the bottom to top. Even though I go past the lens, that's okay. Because we may need that. Now, a lens has two focal points. One on the back side and one on the front side. You can only use a focal point once. So I want to show you three rays that you can use to find where the image is located on a concave lens. We're going to start off by drawing one of the easiest ones. It's called, I call it parallel focal point, where we start off at the top of our object, our object is usually an arrow pointing up. We always start, start off at the arrowhead. And we're going to draw a line from the arrowhead parallel to the principal axis until it hits the center of the lens. And then, light will always bend towards the thicker part of the lens. So for a concave lens, it's going to bend up away from the near focal point. For a convex lens, it's going to bend down because the thicker part of a convex lens is the, mir is the middle. But for this one, we're going to go away from that focal point, and it's going to go that way. And I am going to go ahead and draw that arrow in. So that one's parallel focal point. The second one is focal point parallel. So I want to start off again at the top of our object, but I can't use that focal point, so I'm going to aim towards this far one. I go from the top of the object towards the other focal point until I hit the center of the lens. And that's when I stop, and that beam of light is going to refract parallel to the principal axis and go off in this direction. As you can see, these two don't cross, at least not on the other side of the lens, which is the proper side that the image and the light should go. So what I'm going to do is I want to trace these two back. To the other side and when we trace them back those are our virtual rays and we use dotted lines for those so we got a virtual ray going that way and we'll have another one from our first ray the blue one i drew heading back towards the focal point on that side and where those two cross that's where the image should be. So it should be right about there. And it's a virtual image. Now it said that there was three rays you can draw. The third ray is the same for every lens. If you go through this from the top of the object to the very center of the lens, that light does not bend. So I'll go through this way. If everything works out right, all three cross in the same spot, and that's where your image is. So, that image, since all these rays came from the top, they form the top, so it's right side up. It is, well, virtual. And it also is smaller than the original one, or the original object. Let's do one where we move the object inside the focal length and see what happens there. All right, we got our object right here. It's inside the focal length. And we're going to draw the same three rays, starting off with parallel and then focal point. So just like before, I want to start off at the top of the object. Draw a line parallel to the principal axis until it hits the center of the lens. Then it's going to refract towards the thicker part of the lens, which means the top on this one, away from that focal point. So it's going to go this way. The second ray. Again, since we aim towards this focal point, we've got to use this one. 
So we're going to go towards that focal point until we hit the center of the lens. And then it's going to refract parallel. Again, these rays do not cross on this side. So that means they got to cross on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this ray back. with our virtual light trace the other one back as well and where the two virtual rays cross that's where the image should be right there I should have made that dotted and our third ray Again, goes right through the center of the lens from the top of our object. And if we draw everything correctly, they all cross at the same point. And so that beam of light is virtual. It's upright. And it is slightly smaller than our original object. Thank you. And that's how you do ray tracing for concave lenses. Tune in again for some more physics. Thank you. Goodbye.